Knicks trail by 17. And for Indiana, we've got Miles Turner. Siakam is out there with Benedict Matherin. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's Nemhard in at the two guard. Boy, the upside deep Vincenzo has is obvious. I mean, now it's up to him to continue working on his game and keep getting better. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That one is off. And he's good on the second. Halliburton with it. Here's who Tom Thibodeau is starting the second half with. Rando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's on an OB in a small forward. Just excellent concentration there by Halliburton. Not allowing the bump by the defense to throw him off his mark. Here's DiVincenzo. Nemhard grabs the board. Indiana leading by 18. Here's Siakam. The Knicks pull it in. Robinson's got six rebounds in the game. DiVincenzo passes to Randall. Robinson kicks to Brunson. Driving to the basket. Got a piece of it. Pass to Nemo. They get it back. Off on the layup. That's one for their first four to start the second half. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's DiVincenzo. The Pacers pull it in. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. To the inside. Bounce pass, Matherin. Halliburton outside to the wing on the left. Clock at four. The eight-footer. Here's Siakam. And he banks in the layup. Siakam's got seven points in the game. It's important that Siakam plays with confidence from there. I mean, when he does, the results are often like that one. Outside Robinson. Passes to Brunson. Shoots from the line, and the shot goes in. He's got 11. There it is, the first basket of the half after missing their first three attempts. Brunson against Halliburton. Driving in to the middle. Here's Turner. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Jalen Brunson. And Turner is exceptionally good at getting guys up in the air. He's got a really wicked shot fake, which fools even the best defensive players. And that one falls for Turner. And, you know, because Turner is such a good free-throw shooter for his position, defenses really can't send him to the line too often. He'll make them pay. He's off on the second. Knicks trail by 19. 
Ananobi kicks to DiVincenzo. The pass to Hartenstein. Back to DiVincenzo. And it's sent back by Turner. Man, the defense of Turner is astounding. I mean, he positioned himself well to come up with a lot of blocks. Six to shoot. DiVincenzo finds Bogdanovich. Here's Hartenstein. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Hartenstein's got six. Pacers leading by 17. Timeout called the Pacers. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Alec Burks checked in for New York. And so it's Indiana with it. They led the game at one point by 20. Halliburton finds Turner. Outside Matherin. Pass to Nemo. Siakam outside. Shot clock at five. The high post shot. And it's good off the back rim and in. Siakam's got four this quarter. And Siakam always has options in the mid-range. He's a talented shooter who can make that shot. Works with it. Picked up by Turner. Burks against Siakam. Burks can't get it to go. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Siakam passes to Halliburton. to Siakam. And he uses the glass on the lane. Siakam's got 11 points. Tell you what, guys, this has clearly been his hat. And he's getting to a spot, shooting the ball with confidence. Excellent turnaround for him. Matherin against Bogdanovich. Turner with the steal. Outside Matherin into the lane. Robinson with the block. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last touched by DiVincenzo. Toppin, he's checked in for Turner. Hard, he's checked in for New York. Siakam outside. Pass to Halliburton. Back to Siakam. From the stripe. That's good. And it's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got assist number five here tonight. Knicks have gone two of seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements here. DiVincenzo against Halliburton. 
Hartenstein passes to DiVincenzo. And here is Hart. Six on the shot clock. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyrese Halliburton. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now DiVincenzo. Five points in the game. Shot clock at six. Here's Bogdanovich. And look at Siakam outworking the offensive player, giving his all there to take away that shot. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Matherin against Bogdanovich. Robinson with the block. And he stays with it. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Mitchell Robinson. And Matherin, uber aggressive on offense and skilled at drawing fouls, too. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Pacers. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. Shout out to them for getting to the foul line. They've been the aggressors taking that ball to the basket, and they've been able to knock down a good percentage of those free throws. And the first one drops. Well, you look at the toolkit Matherin has coupled with his production and his maturity. Well, he's got a chance to dominate in this league. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Hart who brings up the ball for the Knicks. Passes it to Hartenstein. Now the pass to DiVincenzo. Five to shoot. Over Halliburton. The offensive rebound, Hartenstein. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And you can see the second chance points now starting to be a major factor. Well, I tell you what, offensive rebounding is really an important statistic. Maybe undervalued a bit, but those extra possessions really do help. Halliburton, that's good. As fast as lightning, Halliburton gets it and shoots it in a matter of nanoseconds. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. The Pacers making a switch here. Smith has checked in, and a switch here also for New York. Brunson's checked in. A difficult situation for New York. Pass to Hartenstein. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. Oh. 
And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Not just a floor spacer now. Bogdanovich getting inside there. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First one falls for him. You know, you look at Bogdanovich, and this guy is really outstanding at taking high percentage shots, and he's got what I call a natural scoring ability and mentality. Neesmith, he's checked in for Benedict Matherin. Achua, he's checked in for New York. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. Pacers leading by 22. And here's McConnell. Still without a basket. Pass to Halliburton. Shoots the three. Wow, drew the contact and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to go on Josh Hart. Great shooting for him at the foul line tonight. Seven of seven. And he's good on the first of three. You love the seemingly endless energy that Halliburton gives his team. Always pushing himself to deliver his best effort on every play, every day. Good on the second free throw. It's good, and he's 100% from the line thus far. What you can't help but notice this half is how good they've been from the free throw line. Lights out. Here's Hartenstein, covered by Smith. Hartenstein passes to Hart. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Hartenstein's got 12 points in the game. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. Lock at six. Halliburton inside the three-point line. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Halliburton's got 19 points. Tyrese Halliburton, take a bow, young fella. You deserve it. You have been outstanding. Passes it to Hartenstein. The pass to Brunson. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And that one misses. And one area where Brunson's improved is in the clutch. He's a monster in crunch time. Nice to have a player you can depend on in those key situations.
He hits the second from the line. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Pacers. Pass to Toppin. McConnell with it. Uses the glass to finish the layup. We're taking it right into the teeth of the defense, and, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. Here's Brunson. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got five rebounds tonight. McConnell scanning the floor. And it's denied. They retain possession. Hart against Halliburton. Just five on the clock. Over Hart. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Achua's got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Brunson. Rebound by Smith. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. From the baseline. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got seven rebounds in the game. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Down low. And that one is good from Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got 10 points here in the second half. And uh, Indiana shooting 47% since getting things started in the third quarter. Here's McConnell. And it's blocked by Brunson. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Pass to Shepard. Indiana moving it around. Shot clock at six. Here's Neesmith. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball in the three-point lane. The shot's good from Brunson. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Now, here's McConnell. Ball's not loose. It's stolen by Randall. With the drive, and Randall throws it down. Going towards the basket, that's when Randall's most dangerous. We've got 148 left in the third quarter. Passes it to Smith. Here's Shepard. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got assist number eight now on the night. It would take a major comeback for them to get back into this game. And the chances of that happening don't look good. Randall no good. Well, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Blown opportunity. Shepard, the pass to McConnell. Looking to get it going. He takes it up and lays it in. McConnell's got his second basket of the game. You know, in that first half, a lot more three-point shooting. Since then, though, they've dialed it back. Brunson against McConnell. Brunson, good. Brunson's got seven now in this quarter. And defensively, if you are not on point, Brunson more than capable of finishing inside. Out to the wing. Now, here's Toppin, guarded closer. And there's the pass to Shepard. And they call an illegal screen here. Only their first turnover of the game, taking terrific care of the basketball. And that's one more key to their lead, guys. I mean, they're creating opportunities for each other and not the other team.
New York shooting the ball around 43% from the floor so far in the third quarter. Pass to Randall. Now Hart. Going inside. And the rejection by Smith. There you see Smith's length playing to his advantage defensively. Matherin passes to McConnell. Out to Smith. From the arc. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got his ninth assist in the game now. Brunson surveying the D. The three-pointer no good. The three-quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Pacers out in front. Running away with it. Live from Cambridge Fieldhouse, you're watching 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. Walker out there with Doug McDermott. Then it's Isaiah Jackson. And it's Shepard in at the two-guard spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And for the Pacers, they're shooting 43% from the floor. Inside, here's Jackson. That shot missing. Good D by Ananobi. And so Ananobi will bring it up for New York. Stolen by Walker. Pass to Nemhoff. Here's Shepard. Pass to Nemhoff. Just five to shoot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And part of what people like about Walker pre-draft was his defensive skills. But he has the makings of a versatile two-way guy giving good coaching. The first one falls. And this team will make you pay when they get chances at the free throw line. It's helped them pull ahead here today. Halliburton's checked in for the Pacers. And the Knicks making a change here as well. McBride's checked in. And so Walker nails both of them. And here are the Knicks. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Here's Sims. Milton with it. The pass to McBride. Clock is at three. Rejected by Halliburton. Got to be impressed with Halliburton's defensive instincts there. I mean, able to come away with the rejection. You don't see guards do that a lot. So it's the Pacers now. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. His three-pointer is off the mark. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. And the foul on Isaiah Jackson. That is his first foul of the game. Bogdanovich has checked in for Ananobi. Oh. 
first minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Now the feed to Sims. Stolen by Jackson. Now McDermott. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Here's Bogdanovich, rebounded by Jackson. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy, making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jumper. Halliburton outside. And he feeds it to Jackson. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got six assists now in the game. For New York, they've gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Now, here's Milton. Defense is right there. Kicks to Sims. Tipped away. Burks on the wing. Out of bounds. Next ball as New York keeps possession of it. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Achua, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. Pass to McBride. Six on the shot clock. Here's Milton on the money from 12 feet away. Milton's got his first bucket in this one. The, the mid-range jumper is a high percentage shot for him, and when he's got that much room, forget about it. Jackson kicks to Halliburton. There's the lob to Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. The versatility of Halliburton, that's what you love about him. He can score it, he can pass it, and he makes very good decisions. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Burks, the pass to Milton. Puts it up from 17. Nice touch on the bank shot. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And here's Halliburton. Outside, Walker. There's the drive. Comes up empty down low. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. At the top of the key, Sims. Back to Milton. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Milton's got six points in the quarter. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Shepard, the pass to Jackson. Halliburton feeling it out a bit. Back to Jackson. Pass to Halliburton. Kept alive. Here's Jackson. Out of bounds. Pacers ball as Indiana keeps possession. Neesmith, he's checked in for Jackson. Hartenstein's checked in for the Knicks. McDermott kicks to Halliburton. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Down to five on the shot clock. Looking to end his cold spell. And he nails the jumper. Knicks have gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Achua. Back to Milton. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two.
That free throw, no good. The Pacers making a switch here. Toppins checked in. And the second free throw, good. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Pacers. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Toppin, covered by Achua. Toppin passes to Walker and finished off by Walker. When Jarris Walker stuffs it, we feel those bucks over here. Milton looking around. Achua drills the three-pointer. Now here is Halliburton. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Halliburton's got 12 points in just the second half. So here's Burks. It's rebounded by Neesmith. The Pacers have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. And it's Shepard missing. The Knicks have gone 4 of 8 in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. The shot's good. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. Halliburton up top. There's the pass to Neesmith. Outside for Halliburton. Four on the shot clock. Here he goes. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Here's Milton. Up and in on the layup. And you're not going to pass up that kind of look. Here's Halliburton. He kicks it to Toppin. Pass to Shepard. Six to shoot. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. New York shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Now the Pacers moving it up. Here's Walker. It's deflected. Milton with it. Pass to McBron. Over Halliburton. The putback, great positioning on the putback. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense could react. Indiana's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Halliburton passes to Toppin. Over Burks. Here's Shepard. Now Toppin passes it to Halliburton. Shot clock at 3. Shoots from 14. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. The Knicks have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. And the pass to Hartenstein. Pass to Milton. Offensive rebound. The dunk by Achua. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 12 rebounds. Nice job clearing some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. You can't be pretty, though, with those second-chance opportunities. I mean, just put it in the basket. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. That's to McBride. But Trey... It's rebounded by Indiana. 
Halliburton's got four rebounds in this game. Kicks to Toppin. Vicious to Walker. To end the drought, and it's blocked. Burks against Halliburton. Burks' shot is good. Burks has got four points in the quarter. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Halliburton passes to Shepard. Up top, Walker. Halliburton outside. It's hauled in by Achua. Achua's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. They get the rebound. Burks in the corner. Another shot. And the layup is up and in. There's a minute 34 left here in the fourth quarter. And here's Halliburton. From deep. The Knicks pull it in. Hartenstein's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after him. And I can tell you, with this win coming in game six, things are looking very bright indeed for the Pacers. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three. It just seemed to pay off for him. And this series has really been entertaining. Now going all the way to a game seven. They were able to force it after all. Yeah, but and I think this speaks to the fortitude they had coming into this game. They knew they had to win to stay alive, and they did it. And it, how about in dramatic fashion, going to be one heck of a game seven. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Tyrese Halliburton. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. That free throw missing. Some changes for Indiana. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Walker. Jalen Smith comes in for Toppin. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Halliburton. And he sinks the second. New York's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's guarded closely. The way up missed. Brunson against McConnell. Here's Turner. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. And the Pacers lead by 20. And you can sense that these fans... These players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Runs in the pass to Achua. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. DiVincenzo kicks to Achua. Five on the clock. New York needs to get off a shot. Dante DiVincenzo, and that's good. And the three-point shot of DiVincenzo is dangerous. Defense cannot allow him to get airspace from there. Now, here's McConnell. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. I think, Greg, they played with a little more you know, of a relaxed demeanor tonight, knowing this was it, now or never. And their season continues because of that, Kevin. How about forcing a Game 7? This is big, and it's going to be an intense battle. I cannot wait. It'll be terrific. You're right. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.